Got some new hiking pants so far. I like them. I'm gonna try a little six mile hike today. Still getting prepared for our section hike in May. I'm really looking forward to it. Trying to do my research. We're out here today at the um, National Recreation Trail, again at Kings Mountain. It's a 16 mile loop trail. I'm not doing the whole 16 because I don't have time today. Um, but we're gonna do about six maybe and I'm just trying out some new gear. I got some new pants and some other stuff. So yeah, I had to go um, bag that up. I was actually out hiking, where was I? Oh, Hive Shoals Falls Trail. And somebody had bagged up their dog's poop and left the bag sitting on the side of the road. Why do you, why would you do that? For somebody else to have to pick up. You know, I would urge people if, you're, if you've got litter, stick it in your bag. Tie it onto your backpack or whatever, but don't leave it for someone else to pick up. That's just gross. Come on, goofball. I would sure love to take her with me on my section hike, but I just think she'd be too much. She is surely the best companion ever. I love my dog. I love my puppy. Come on, Daisy. Come on, Daisy. hot out here today actually it's the first really warm day that we've had but my new hiking pants unzip at the knees so if I get too hot I'll just take it off Going uphill and I'm just stopping to take a break. Daisy, what do you hear? Besides my heart beating. Shh. Shh. Oh, I hear one bird. Good girl. So back to the tripping on the trail thing. Um I only actually have gone down once, and that was on the Carolina Thread Trail, if you saw that video. Um, I had on some low-top hikers that didn't support my ankle very well, and I stepped in some loose sand going down to the river, and there was a tree root buried in the loose sand, so I rolled my ankle and broke it on both sides. I had an avulsion fracture bilateral on both sides. That was in October. And this is end of March. My right ankle's still bothering me just a little bit. Not horrible, but yeah, a little. So I've only actually fallen down once. Um, 
So yeah, if you're a frequent hiker, how often have you bit the dust on the trail? Be honest. So I've been watching a lot of um, hiking videos just, you know, trying to get a feel for the AT and downloaded the apps and trying to plan out where I'm either going to shelter, pitch a tent, hostel, all that. Um, and I love watching the videos because uh, most of them are pretty informative. Uh, if, you're, if you're watching this one and... <laughs> chances are you're not because I don't have that many followers which is not a big deal because mostly my videos are for my kids um, but if you do happen to watch this I was curious there's some water Daisy you need a drink um, do you like watching the videos where they're holding a selfie stick and they're filming themselves talking or would you rather see the trail because I don't know, I'm not a big fan of looking at myself on camera. Um, and so, usually I just film my dog. But, she's not going to be with me on the AT. She loves the water. Here's your water dog. Daisy is a Boykin Spaniel. That is um, a recognized American breed. Oh, you're going to go pee again. All right give you some modesty. Um, it's a recognized American breed. She is the South Carolina state dog. She's a cross between a, you're going to jump. You're not going to jump. Are you? you? You are. Okay. Daisy, you're on a leash, dude. She's not always so smart. But you are this time. Look at you, good girl. Good girl. You're getting better at that. Come on, let's keep going. Um, anyway, she is a cross between a English Springer Spaniel, Cocker Spaniel, and Chesapeake Bay Retriever, which I believe is where she gets her beautiful tail. Um, most of these dogs are hunters, or actually retrievers, duck dogs, bird, water dogs, but I never planned on hunting Daisy, so I um, asked the lady that had the uh, had the litter to go ahead and keep her t tail. All right, I gotta figure out where I'm going here. Okay, I'm going straight. Right is the CCC trail. I don't know what left is. It's marked red. Okay, part of the CCC and. Straight is National Recreation Trail, which is what we're on. I've just not been on this part of it. I went on a different part of it last time. Okay. Bye. So, I'm back. God, it's pretty out here. Really, really pretty. Um, oh, where was I going? <laughs> I squirrel sometimes. I've been doing a lot of shorter hikes. Actually, I started with like a mile. And, you know, that was not really preparation for the AT. It was trying to get my body back into shape. Um, I was a nurse for 27 years. And I was diagnosed with breast cancer July of 2020 during the height of COVID. So 2020 for me was cancer and COVID. It was not a great time. I had to go by myself to everything. I mean, think about that. It's a good thing I was a nurse, actually, because I had some point of reference with all the biopsies and different things. Whew, let's stop for a minute, babe. Um, 
So, but that's still scary. It's still a really scary thing to get a cancer diagnosis and then have to show up for everything alone. Um, chemo, surgery, radiation, <laughs> everything, all the infusions, everything by myself um, during that year of COVID. You know, a couple of times where I had to drive myself home after chemo. That was not ideal, but it is what it is. Um, I finished chemo, surgery, radiation um, in 2021. I quit nursing. Cancer taught me that you have to live your life. Seriously, you've got to live your life. If you're in a situation that, in my case, I loved nursing. I loved my years of caring for uh, laboring patients. I was a labor and delivery nurse. That's kind of like the ER with a twist. Um, and I loved it. I loved my years with it, but I was done. <laughs> I had enough. I was burned out. So... Luckily, I had been doing martial arts. I started in my 20s, quit for a while, started back up, and I'm a sixth down black belt in World Taekwondo and fourth down black belt in Hapkido. Not that that means a whole lot. Don't rate, read anything into the numbers. It's just, you know, more importantly, I think the amount of years that you've put into it, there are people that are better than me. There are a lot of people that are way better than me, but there are a lot of people that I'm better than, you know, so I'm not going to cut myself short there. But the good thing was, wait, babe, good thing was is that I had something to fall back on. Um, nursing was my first gig, and we already owned a school. Well, there goes that. <laughs> See how good she is. She's not. She's going to keep walking. Okay, well, I guess I'll keep walking too. Um, so we already had a school in Houston, and I've got a good friend, Leslie, who, hey, Leslie, if you're watching this, you're probably not, but if you are, hey, who lives in York, South Carolina, Daisy, stop, thank you, dude, stop, <laughs> stop, okay, go, um, anyway, she lives in York, South Carolina, and I, uh, on frequent visits, noticed that there wasn't a good program in town. There were some programs where the kids had to drive away. So I thought, you know, this would be a really good spot to start a school. And I had actually started thinking about it and trying to plan it before the cancer diagnosis. But when the cancer diagnosis hit, I thought my dream was over. And this is important, guys. You know, if anyone's of an age where you're, you know, trying to decide which direction I'm going to go. I mean, I'm telling my story here. Uh, I'm 62. I'll be 63 in um, September. My mind is at 62. Though. That's the most important thing. My mind's still 18. Daisy, come here, babe. Um, anyway, I decided that York needed a school. And I thought that we had a good program that would fit the community. So I started researching it. And then I got the cancer diagnosis. And I thought my dream was over. I did. I thought my dream was over. Um, I thought I was going to die. Like, right then, I had an aggressive form, so I just thought that meant, okay, I'm going to die, and I was real depressed, and then I got my mindset together and started researching everything I could. I started picking out my team of people. You don't have to do that. There are care navigators, nurse navigators who can help you with that, but... Okay, I will put myself on camera this time. Okay, so how many of y'all have ever been out? Don't. No. Um, been out hiking and talking and um, in the midst of talking, swallowed a bug. 
flew right into my mouth, right into my mouth. I don't know what kind of bug it was. I tried to cough it up. Nope. Um, stomach acid, hopefully, will burn that little sucker up. That wasn't fun. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't a bee. Okay, so that happened, and now I'm going to talk some more about... Uh, I think I had uh, stopped at Care Navigators. That's where I was at. So yeah, there's Care Navigators who can get all that stuff together for you, but I was fortunate in that I worked in the hospital and could get good recommendations on the surgeon and oncologist, cardiologist, radiologist, you know, it's a multidisciplinary approach. So you have a team caring for you. I was fortunate with that. So yeah, anyway, three years of, stop bed, stop three years of treatment because it was six rounds of chemo, uh, 11 more rounds of targeted infusions, um, a year of oral monoclonal antibodies or target, targeted um, therapy. And all of that stuff is cumulative, at least mine was, cumulative meaning um, the longer you're on it, the more the side effects are going to become over a, period, over a period of time. So I stopped everything four weeks ago. Woohoo! Currently in remission, knock on wood. Hope I stay that way forever, but you know, I pray about it. Um, and the, even though I'm doing martial arts, it just. You know, I'm teaching the kids, but I, I got to noticing that the jumping jacks and the, you know, calisthenic works of it, the cardio work, was just wearing me out. So, you know, I'm training somebody up as uh, an instructor, and she's doing really good, Heather. Hey, Heather. Um, she'll be getting her black belt. Um, in about a year. Um, so I started hiking. I mean, I had been kind of walking around the block and I got to where I really hated that because Daisy will eat anything. I mean, literally anything. So I hated walking on the street because people always dump all kinds of litter and she eats it. So I started walking at the entrance of King's Mountain. And, you know, front to back, right at the entrance, about a half a mile. But I enjoyed it, it's beautiful, it's a great place to walk there and she's not eating crap. And then I kept walking farther and farther and farther. And now I'm up to six miles. And I've noticed that when I'm back in the class and I'm doing jumping jacks and the cardio work that it's not killing me anymore. So the hiking has really helped my martial arts. So, you know, if you're doing one form of exercise, you can always do another, you know, and it can help, they can help each other. Synchronicity, I think that's what that means. You know, I'm still kind of freaking out about this bug. I feel like the bug is still in my throat. I just really want to cough it up, but I think it's in my stomach. Maybe I'll drink some Gatorade. Okay, my intention was to hike two out and two back and do four, but this says mile four. I wonder from what starting point. I started at the campgrounds, which I assume is the starting point, but my watch doesn't say four miles. My watch says two. And I still feel pretty good. So I'm like, hmm. It's 16 miles and it's... It's only a quarter of one for real? Wow. I don't know. Uh, I only brought a liter of Gatorade, so... And it's hot today, so... You know, maybe... 
We should turn around and go back. So never planned on doing the whole 16 today. I just wanted to do maybe four. That said, mile marker four, I don't know about that. I don't feel like I've hiked four miles. Um, but we're gonna turn around and go back because I only brought one liter of Gatorade and I've already drank half of that. So it's hot out today and I'm sweating to death. So yeah, I'll do it another day and I'll bring my big pack. I have been um, practicing with my pack that I'm gonna use. I've got a Osprey ultralight. I like it. Um, so far I've been hiking with about 15 pounds. So I'm still working my way up on weight. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So it's currently 81 degrees outside and nice, mostly sunny skies, which means on the trail <laughs> and you're working up a sweat, it's kind of hot. And I am sweating to death because that's what I do. So I had an opportunity to take off the bottom portion of those pants my new hiking pants and I like it a lot in May I believe I will be wearing shorts Somebody's hot. Somebody's hot. We're going to take a detour. I'm going to dragonfly. Oh, good. Oh, that's a good spot. Yep. I'll let her cool off for a minute and I'm gonna have myself a drink of Gatorade. And we're almost finished. Okay, well we finished a little over four miles. And you know, the best part's always the last. The, whoop, almost did it again. <laughs> the straight upstairs. Oh, okay, we got it. Oh, she's like, woman, what's wrong with you? Get up these stairs. 